in this video, I'm going to give you a little hack and a template for how to print uh, DTF transfers on your Epson F2100. So um, no matter what size platen you have, uh, the, transfer the transfer material will probably not cover the full thing. So this is A3, and as you can see on my 14 by 16 inch platen, I've got about an inch or so on either side. So how do you um, accurately line up your designs so that you're not printing off of uh, the transfer uh, film and just totally messing up your entire design. Well, I have a template for you and I'm gonna show you how to uh, use it in uh, Garment Creator. So you can grab the template uh, from the link below in the description and I am using Kodak film, but this will work for any A3 size and then you will be off to go. Okay, so here we are in Garment Creator and we are going to set up to print our DTF. Uh, transfer. So first thing is that we need to go to the new tab here and we are going to tell it that we are using the Kodak DTF cold peel film. That's just the brand. If you have, if you don't have that brand, you have a different type, you can select whatever preset print setting that you have there. And then layout. Um, I just have um, a couple of different DTF layouts that are actually all of these are the same. It's <laughs> really just um, to mirror my image automatically. Okay, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, what you can see is this is kind of what I was talking about. It puts an image of the shirt behind, which that's fine. We're not using a shirt. We're going to print on DTF film. But the real issue is that this gridded area here uh, represents the full platen. So if we go to layout settings, you can see that I am using a medium sized platen, which is 14 by 16. My DTF film is not 14 by 16. My DTF film is about almost 12 by 16 and a half. And so if you design on this gridded area, which you certainly can, you risk your design being outside of where the DTF film covers. And in this case, it's like this inch right here and this inch right here. What you may end up inadvertently doing is printing on the platen. That's not a huge deal other than you've wasted all of that ink that you were using to print on your DTF film. So what you can do is actually bring in um, a DTF film background instead of a shirt. And I've created um, a couple for you in different sizes that I'll share. So what we're going to do is we are going to go up and we are going to do file, import, import background image. Now the one that I've created um, is called, well, it's called your paragraph for some reason, but um, I'm going to give it to you. You can see this is what it looks like. Now this is gigantic. As you can see, this is the platen. So how in the heck could our film be that large? So what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna zoom out, okay? I'm just using my mouse to zoom out, but you can also go down here and zoom out. Um, and once we zoom out where we can see the full white sheet representing our DTF transfer film, I'm gonna double click it, and then I can size it. So what I'm going to do is I know that this uh, film, like I said, or this sheet is 11 and, three quarters by 16 and a half. So it's not going to exactly um, cover the area, but what it's going to do is gonna give me a really good representation. So what I know is that this right here is 14 inches across, right? So each of these squares is an inch, one, two, three, all the way across there's 14, which means that I basically need two and a quarter not covered. Okay, and that's about what we have here. Now, if you wanna move the position of your sheet so it's about 16 and a half hanging off, you have about a half inch hanging off, um, I'm just, you need to make sure that you have it double clicked or selected, and then you can move it. So, this is not going to be 100% accurate. However, it's going to make sure that you basically have a safe print area, okay? So once that's set, you can leave that alone and then you can bring in your designs. So, you know, you can go up here and do file, open. I know I have one that's called sarcastic something or another. I'm just gonna try to find that so I have something to bring in. Oops, where is it? Here, we'll just bring this one in right here. 
and you can see this comes in gigantic also so we will size that down okay by pulling the corners in okay and see how it's um, automatically flipped that's because I'm using the DTF um, layout that setting that I had now I know that I can position it here and I you know will be pretty safe not to print off or if I have a large design I can see now this one's obviously pretty dimensional as far as being round but if you had a design that didn't quite fit um, you know the width of your paper you could rotate it and this um, using the template basically is going to um, give you a good uh, visual of that now one thing to keep in mind this writing down here is not going to print that is on the background the background doesn't print that's just there to remind you um, of what size template you're using okay so you've got it all set up and you are now uh, ready to go and what you can see is obviously you have more room you could add more down here and in a separate video I will show you how to do that to essentially um, add more than one file more than one design to the same area whether you want to duplicate it or make a gang sheet kind of of um, different size um, designs.